It's a new year and one of your resolutions may be to find true love in 2018. Well, here to share some advice is dating coach Neely Steinberg. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Thanks Welcome for back. having me. Thank you. Uh, how does one become a dating coach? How did you? <laughs> well, you know, I struggled for many, many years in my own love life and I knew that deep down I wanted love and, and marriage and a family, but I couldn't quite seem to get there. Um, but eventually I did and <laughs> married now and have two beautiful girls and I decided that, you know, several years years ago I wanted to create something of my own where I could help you know, smart, successful, um, savvy single women mm -hmm. become that sort of metaphorical CEO of their love lives and create whatever it is they wanted to create in their mm -hmm. love lives. Because, they, well, and I think a lot of people can relate with your same story. They've tried something, another, they take advice from friends and family, yeah. they just can't get it right yeah. for whatever reason. Right. You have five important tips that you're going to share do. with us today. Yes, I do. So let's <laughs> dive right in with tip number one, keep hope alive. Yeah, it is so important to stay positive in your search for love and to know that you, you can and will find love. You know, mm -hmm. our thoughts create our reality, right? So if you're stuck or mired in negative, toxic, limiting thoughts, you know, that's really the experience you're going to create for yourself, right? One that's negative and toxic and limiting. Then I get it. We've all had our bad relationships and bad experiences. Don't get me wrong, it's not easier said than done, mm -hmm. but you've got to do what you can to have that positive mindset and to know in your heart of hearts that you really can create a wonderful love story for yourself. It will happen. It can happen. It can happen. It will happen. Second point, taking action though, also equally important. You can't be yeah. hopeful and then be, you know, staying at home every right. night, not running into anyone. Exactly right. Like you, you know, that all being said, you could be positive until you're blue in the face, but unless you're following up that positive mindset with a lot of action, mm -hmm. you're not going to create much of anything. So that means getting out on dates, getting out there, joining groups to meet people, going to events and activities, you know, getting online, mm -hmm. tapping into your networks for introductions to people. So being proactive, action oriented, and creating a lot of opportunities for yourself. That's wonderful. Um, your next point, point number three, without reflection, yeah. action is pointless. What yes. do you mean by that? Yeah, so 80% of change is awareness. Okay. Right. So if you want to create change in your love life, you've got to engage in reflection. You've got to be introspective. You know, when you're out on dates or in dating situations, what comes up for you emotionally? What triggers you? Mm -hmm. Why do you do the things you do? Say the things you say. Feel the things you feel right why do you keep repeating the same unhealthy patterns again and again expecting different results mm -hmm. you know are you a slave to your fears and insecurities in your love life and let's get to the bottom of that stuff and unpack it and understand the whys so that you're coming to a place of conscious awareness right yeah. so you can start making different choices and I think the key word there is conscious mm -hmm. instead of acting unconsciously in your love life you're acting from a place of conscious awareness awareness is key it <laughs> sounds like you're on the tip of the iceberg of yeah. that feeling of you know you can't love someone until you love yourself so you gotta really understand I'm sure what's going on in your own life before you can welcome someone else into it's it. It's a big part of it yeah it's a big part of yeah. it is is looking inward. Uh, mm -hmm. Your your fourth point heart-centered dating yeah. <laughs> versus ego-centered dating. Yeah, and I think we've all kind of witnessed that people just want to date just to date. Yeah, yeah, I, that's a big one. Um, so I like to tell clients and singles to um, engage in what I call heart-centered dating versus ego-centered dating. Mm -hmm. And ego-centered dating is very much focused on the superficial and the material, right. you know, has to be this height and have, has to have this exact body type and this amount of hair on his head right. and the job and the income and the car and yada, yada, yada. Right, mm -hmm. um, and and I get it. We all have those superficial things that we're attracted to, but if you can learn to loosen your grip a little bit on that stuff, you really can open up a whole host of opportunities and possibilities when it comes to matches for you. And so, engaging in dating from a heart-centered place with an open mind, mm -hmm. uh, from a place of maturity, compassion, sensitivity. Right. And when you come from that place, you you know it's less about checking off all of these superficial material boxes mm -hmm. and more about, you know, okay, here here's what I actually need in a partner and in a relationship for right. a relationship to thrive long term. Exactly, yeah. because like you said, that trust, that those qualities, those deeper qualities will probably yes. are the ones that are gonna last. Character, integrity, exactly. Certainly. Yeah. And fifth and final point, 
Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yes, don't be afraid. Especially from someone like you. Right. <laughs> well, it is amazing that in every other area of our lives, we get help and support mm -hmm. from career, education, uh, hobbies, passions, pursuits. We have teachers and mentors and guides. Oh, yeah. um, but all of a sudden, when it comes to love, we think we have to go it alone, right? Yeah. And that's silly if you think about it because love is the most important thing in the world. But it also can be complicated and messy and complex. Mm -hmm. um, and so I say, you know, get the support you need, whether it's a therapist or someone sure. like me, uh, you know, a coach and image consultant, or even talking consistently with a trusted friend who's in a healthy, happy relationship. Mm -hmm. um, it's so important. So don't be afraid to get that support because at the end of the day, love is really the most important thing. Yeah, and we are hoping for the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. All Thank really you. important tips. And happy new year to you Thank as you. well. Thank if you. you missed any of those tips, don't worry. We're going to share the information on our website, roadshow.com.